Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is May 31st, 2022. And today is Tuesday morning, so we're back into business. U.S. holiday is over after yesterday's Memorial Day. But looking at the highlights of today, oil continues to trade higher to 119, just retracing right now, but no major economic events scheduled for today. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pair is still showing strength versus the U.S. dollar. As looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq both breathe after a Big rally last week and looking at commodities, gold unchanged. Looking at stocks, it's the tech stocks that remain strong, at least for now. We're going to take a look at that as well. And lastly, Bitcoin continues to climb above its resistance -ish area. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So if yesterday was a national holiday in the United States, which is Memorial Day, today is the day after, which means it's really the Monday of the week. So with that said, and we're going into June trading, okay, even though we're in May 31st, we are going to June, July, August, which is traditionally a lighter volume environment, let's just call it, okay, so just speaking cyclically, it is a lighter time where the markets don't trade as aggressively. So we're looking here at the Euro USD, a retracement, but still a projection, okay, it's it has an ABC move, okay, which is usually the top of the move. So it may just restrain itself at this area, we may just see ourselves trading in a channel, at least for now, okay, because this has really uh, still taken itself as a leader, okay, going on the upside, okay, when we look at the GBP USD also bouncing a little bit, as we look at it, let's grab it up, there we go, at 126, but you see it's flattening out, okay, if we look at the Aussie US dollar, also flattening out as well, let's take a look at that as well, 71, it looks more like the GBP USD than it does like the Euro USD, where it's more flat as it's that's topping out, okay? Now, this is a significant move for the euro, okay? Because we were at the brinks of making new lows for multi-year new lows at that 103 level. And surely on the GBP and the Aussie dollar, also looking at new yearly lows almost, okay? We, we, we've come back from that. Not to say that we might not visit it soon, but for now, we're out of the woods. Now, looking at the commodities, first looking at oil, which is really very cool, bouncing above that 111-ish level, okay? That was the resistance at 111, if you guys remember, last week. And then once it bounced above it, yesterday, it just flew right across it to 118, okay? It's traditionally, traditionally speaking, we do rally into the summer months, okay, especially with the uncertainty of what's happening in Ukraine and some of the pressure that it's having on commodities just in general. Wheat is up. Many other commodities are up. So just with that said, you know, the pushing of oil above 118 is quite normal. Okay, now it, it does look like it's retracing this morning, but just take a just absorb it because it is a significant rally for it as well now looking at gold not much doing 1854 almost week to week really unchanged now looking at the u.s markets all right this morning we are retracing a bit 33,000 on the dow jones after it hitting 3,370 points okay that was a big rally so we are retracing about 300 points a decent retracement there uh, for one lot that's about $1,500 but take that into consideration okay we are looking at just the first day of June and we are going into NFP this Friday so we may see some activity going into the end of the week now looking at the Nasdaq as well also selling off just a little bit to 12,660 as it's retracing from its 12,800 ish level okay down only about 200 points but still showing some from resilience altogether now looking at apple nice little move last week okay we are at possibly resistance ish area as this hits this 150 ish level okay looking at facebook also we close the gap okay generally speaking after closing the gap it goes back down so keep that in mind here as looking at app uh, facebook microsoft also nice little bounce but not as aggressive as um some of the other stocks and and really trading within the range of where Apple is trading, right? I mean, if we look from our highs of the year from 343 down to 273, 70 bucks. Okay, that's a big retracement. That's a 20% retracement of Microsoft for the year. Looking at Amazon did get a little bit of a bounce, but 
lackluster, not very strong. Okay, so if these stocks still sell off going into September, October, this is the spot. Okay, so you just called it out. Looking at JP Morgan, also did get that bounce to 131, showing some strength. But again, we're hitting the top of the move, previous resistance and previous support and previous resistance. I mean, if you look at this, this is really a very interesting level where this was support and this was resistance. And sure enough, you know, we're right there. Okay, we're still not above in our the RSI and we haven't crossed over. Okay, but that's, you know, that's it in the MACD, but that's, you know, that's that's for for momentum kind of trading. Okay, it may just break down later. It may just trade with less volume also as we're going into the summer months. So keep that in, in perspective as well. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin trading at 31,500. This is as high as we've gone for quite some time. Okay, let's see if we could get a little bit more momentum on the upside. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it wants to give it up here as it's um, kind of exhausted its move on the upside. We certainly have a 33,600-ish level resistance, so keep that in mind as well. This is Fred Ray Zeklin. Wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.